The technique of protecting networks, computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, and data from hostile intrusions is known as cybersecurity. It is often referred to as electronic information security or information technology security. The phrase can be broken down into a few basic categories and is used in a wide range of applications including business and mobile computing. Subscribe to our channel before we continue to guide you about cybersecurity. Network security is the discipline of protecting a computer network from intruders, whether they are deliberate attackers or malicious software that strikes at random. Application security focuses on preventing threats from entering devices and software. The data that an application is meant to safeguard may be accessible if it is compromised. Effective security starts at the design phase long before a program or gadget is put into use. Data integrity and privacy are safeguarded by information security, both during storage and transmission. Operational security covers the procedures and choices made for managing and safeguarding data assets. This includes the policies that regulate how and where data may be stored or exchanged, as well as the permissions people have on accessing a network. Disaster recovery and business continuity describe how a company reacts to an event that results in the loss of operations or data, such as a cybersecurity incident. Disaster recovery procedures specify how the organization restores its operations and information to resume normal business operations. The organization's backup plan when certain resources are unavailable is business continuity. End-user education deals with the most erratic aspect of cybersecurity, people. Anyone who disregards sound security procedures has the potential to unintentionally introduce a virus into a system that is otherwise secure. For the security of any firm, it is crucial to teach users to delete suspicious email attachments, to avoid plugging in unknown USB drives and other key teachings. How serious the cyber threat is? The amount of data breaches each year is increasing as the worldwide cyber threat develops quickly. According to a survey from Risk-Based Security, data breaches have exposed an astonishing 7.9 billion records in just the first nine months of 2019. When compared to the same period in 2018, this amount is more than double, 112%, the number of records disclosed. The most breaches happen in the medical industry, retail, and public sector, with malicious criminals being most often to blame because they gather financial and medical data. Some of these industries are more interesting to cyber criminals than others, but any firms that use networks might be the target of customer data theft, corporate espionage, or customer attacks. Global spending on cybersecurity solutions is inevitably rising as the severity of the cyber threat is expected to keep growing. According to Gartner, global investment on cybersecurity will top $260 billion by 2026 and reach $188.3 billion in 2023. In response to the growing cyber danger, governments all over the world have issued recommendations to support businesses in putting good cybersecurity policies into place. The National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST, in the U.S. has developed a framework for cybersecurity. The architecture suggests constant, real-time monitoring of all electronic resources to prevent the spread of harmful code and help in early identification. The National Cybersecurity Center of the United Kingdom government's 10 Steps to Cybersecurity Guidance emphasizes the value of system monitoring. Australia's Australian Cybersecurity Center ACSC, frequently releases instructions on how businesses can defend against the most recent cybersecurity threats. Malware Malware refers to harmful software. Malware is software that cybercriminals or hackers have developed to disrupt or harm a genuine user's computer. It is one of the most prevalent cyber hazards. Malware is frequently sent by an unauthorized email attachment or a download that appears legitimate. It can be used by cybercriminals to steal money or launch cyber attacks with political motivations. Malware comes in many different forms including the following. A virus is a self-replicating program that spreads throughout a computer system by attaching to clean files and contaminating them with malicious code. Trojans are a sort of malware that impersonates trustworthy programs. Cyber criminals utilize deception to get people to download Trojans onto their computers where they damage the system or gather data. Spyware is a program that discreetly logs user activity so that cyber criminals can use it against them. For instance, spyware may be able to record credit card information. Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts a user's files and data and threatens to delete them unless a ransom is paid. Adware is marketing software that can be used to disseminate viruses. Botnets are networks of computers that have been infected with malware and are used by cybercriminals to carry out tasks online without the user's consent. A sort of cyber attack called a SQL, Structured Language Query. Injection is used to take over and steal data from a database. Cybercriminals use malicious SQL statements to install malicious malware into databases by taking advantage of flaws in data-driven applications. They now have access to the delicate data stored in the database. 
Phishing is when online thieves send emails to their intended victims that look as though they are from a trustworthy company and request vital information. Attacks including phishing are frequently used to trick people into disclosing personal information and credit card information. A cyber threat known as a man-in-the-middle attack occurs when a cyber criminal eavesdrops on a conversation between two people in order to collect data. An attacker may, for instance, capture data passing between the victim's device and the network via an insecure Wi-Fi network. Cyber criminals use denial-of-service attacks to prevent computers from responding to valid requests by flooding networks and servers with traffic. This makes the system useless and prevents an organization from performing essential tasks. What are the most recent cyber threats that people and businesses need to be on the lookout for? Here are a few of the most current cyber threats that the governments of the United Kingdom, United States, and Australia have warned about. The head of an organized cyber criminal group was charged by the U.S. Department of Justice, DOJ, in December 2019 for their involvement in a widespread Drydex malware assault. The public, governments, infrastructure, and businesses all across the world were impacted by this evil effort. A financial trojan with several features is called Drydex. Since 2014, it has been harming victims. Computers are infected by phishing emails or pre-existing malware. It has resulted in enormous financial losses, totaling hundreds of millions of dollars. It is capable of obtaining passwords, banking information, and personal data that can be used in fraudulent transactions. The UK's National Cybersecurity Center urges the public to ensure devices are patched, antivirus is turned on and up to date, and files are backed up in reaction to the Drydex attacks. The FBI issued a warning to American people in February 2020 about the confidence fraud that cybercriminals perform through dating websites, chat rooms, and apps. Criminals take advantage of singles looking for love by tricking them into disclosing personal information. According to the FBI, romance cyber threats in 2019 cost 114 victims in New Mexico a total of $1.6 million in losses. The Australian Cybersecurity Center issued a warning to national entities about the Imotech malware's pervasive global cyber threat in late 2019. A powerful trojan known as Imotech can load other software in addition to stealing data. Imotet thrives on simple passwords, serving as a cautionary tale on the value of choosing strong passwords to protect against online threats. An essential component of cybersecurity is end user protection or endpoint security. After all, a user, the end user, is frequently responsible for unintentionally uploading malware or another type of cyber danger to their computer, laptop, or mobile device. So, how do end users and systems get protected by cybersecurity measures? First, emails, files, and other crucial data are encrypted using cryptographic techniques as part of cybersecurity. This safeguards against loss or theft, in addition to protecting information while it is in transit. Additionally, end-user security software searches computers for harmful code, quarantines it, and then eliminates it. Security tools are made to encrypt or wipe data from a computer's hard disk, and they can even find and remove harmful code concealed in the primary boot record. Real-time malware detection is a major emphasis of electronic security procedures. To guard against viruses or trojans that change their structure with each run, polymorphic and metamorphic malware, many use heuristic and behavioral analysis to track the behavior of a program and its code. Security software can isolate potentially harmful programs from the user's network in order to study their behavior and improve their ability to spot fresh infections. As cybersecurity experts find new dangers and new responses against them, security programs continue to develop new defenses. Employees must be trained on how to utilize end-user security software in order to get the most out of it. It is crucial to keep it running and update it periodically so that it can defend people from the most recent online threats. This finishes our today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, then subscribe to our channel for more.